The sixth graders of Seneca Huron Seneca East Elementary School, located in the Seneca East Local School District in Seneca County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Seneca Huron in Bellevue. Seneca Huron serves the communities of Attica and Republic in Seneca County. The Sarful Mother Shrine is two miles from the school. Memories are important to us all. We collect things that remind us of different stages in our lives. Terrorist type reports on a lady who's in the business of remembrance. Hello, I'm Tara Seip. An Attica woman can freeze a moment in time. Okay, everybody lean in. Everybody Mrs. Sylvia Schalkers is a portrait photographer who owns Sylvia Studio. Okay, everybody. My business is taking pictures of people. Most of them are high school seniors, and I do a lot of families every year. And most people are interested in outdoor pictures, which is my specialty. A lot of planning goes into creating a portrait. Well, the most important thing, if you're taking somebody's pictures, is to make them look good. That's, that's the first thing. The main thing that we do before taking pictures is I do a consultation with anybody who comes here for pictures. We sit down and discuss what kind of pictures they like, what they want, and then I give them some suggestions for what to wear, and we make a plan, and that way we get much okay. better pictures. She wouldn't be happy doing any other work. The wonderful thing about photography is you do it because you love it. Almost every photographer had it as a hobby to begin with. I've been taking pictures for 27 years. You know, I just love looking through that camera and seeing that image when it's great and the person looks good and the background and the lighting and everything looks good. And I know it's going to be a great picture. Okay, we ought to get this is Tara Seip reporting for News 6. Many people can be described as collectors. Some folks collect antiques and others collect stamps or coins. Reporter Brandy Robinson knows a lady who collects much larger things. I'm Brandy Robinson. Some animals in Bellevue pull more than their own weight. These animals are Belgian draft horses. Susan Groves has been raising them since 1990. I've always had horses, but when I went to the state fair and seen them exhi exhibiting down there, I fell in love with them. The Belgians are a very popular breed. There are probably more Belgian draft horses in the United States than any other draft breed. My horses are all boys, and their names are Sam, Dan, Doc, Tim, Linus, and Bill. The horses are magnificent animals. The horses are 16 to 18 hands, which is 72 inches tall, and that is at the top of their neck here, not their head. We use our horses on wagon rides, hay rides, and we also take them to all the local fairs. The animals eat like, well, like horses. We feed them here in their stalls, and they get about a bucket, a five gallon bucket of the oats and corn, and just under a bale of hay a day. A horse, you know, he needs his teeth taken care of, his feet trimmed and shooed, um, a good veterinary care, just spending time with them, and they're, they're a very affectionate horse, and we could just give them a lot of enjoyment from being out here in the barn. 
This is Brandy Robinson for News 6. Today's Kids View question is, what do you like best about your small community and why? I like the open areas because we can ride four wheelers and snowmobiles. We have the same kids in our class each year and we are very close and more trustworthy. I like to be outdoors and camp in the clean fresh air. There's a lot of area to explore here. There's not a lot of smoke in factories. I like the people because they're really nice. My family and friends live in the community. You can't avoid it when driving through Northwest Ohio. Beautiful, locally made crafts decorate small town homes just about everywhere. Brianna Dennis reports on one craftsperson who spreads her creativity around. I'm Brianna Dennis. A Bloomville woman uses woodworking tools as her paintbrushes. That lady is Tanya Nagel, an accomplished carpenter who makes beautiful wood creations. The crafts I make are a lot of wooden things, a combination of wooden items, and also I sew a little bit, so I include some of the sewing in some of my projects too. Most of my ideas come from sitting around and thinking up things that I like to have myself around my own house and um, things I like to work with. Mrs. Nagel uses many different implements to make her crafts. Most of the tools I use are um, table saw, radial arm saw, scroll saws, um, jigsaws, sanders. A lot of the materials I get are from our own barns that I kind of tear apart or I ask people if they have old barns that look like they're falling down and they would like them removed. I go and remove them and use the wood. Most of the birdhouses I make, I can complete them probably start to finish in about three or four hours. She's been around carpenters all her life. I always have liked working with wood because my dad and a lot of my uncles are carpenters and I've been around the wood things a long time and I really enjoy it. Uh, most of my crafts I sell around at local uh, craft shows and sometimes right out of my house here. I have people come over and like to look at my stuff. Reporting for News 6, this is Brianna Dennis. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya! Bye! The sixth graders of Seneca Huron Seneca East Elementary School, located in the Seneca East Local School District in Seneca County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6.